Testing. Okay, it's good to go. Alright, good morning. Uh, I'm just... I'm gonna try to keep this short. I still gotta hop in the shower and lay down yet, because uh, I gotta work tonight, so... But, browsing the Twitch forums and... Bought another good... Bought another pretty good, um... Article, forum thread, whatever you want to call it. By, uh... Gally the Pirate. Legit ways to build your stream. Never knew of any illegitimate ways to do it, but I guess there are. But, um, like always, I'll just go on down the page, just comment and everything. And like usual, I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not trying to expose or embarrass anybody. It's just, it's easier for me to talk this out than it is to try to type out my response. And I guess while I'm at it, what up? Also, for what it's worth, I haven't, I haven't read this art. I haven't read any of this, so I'm totally, I'm, I'm totally ad libbing this whole thing. Tried and true stuff, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of us in the Twitch community have seen it before. Stream a lot of posts. I've been doing this for a while, but don't see the video the ground they want uh gaining ground doesn't interest me much i'm not not really interested in being a super big massive streamer in fact i tend to avoid those people like way too many in the chat not to mention a lot of the a lot of those higher end streamers more often than not are also talking to other people in like discord and whatnot you hear a bunch of a bunch of peters just chatterboxing away i mean very distracting so i tend to avoid them I guess um, one suggestion I could probably make: the stream should be uh, it should be as much for you as it is for uh, your audience. <clears throat> like um, I think uh, streamers that uh, that do streams for the fans, I'm not really a big fan of. I mean, I want the streamer to enjoy what he does it's as much as I uh, I would for what would uh, watching him. If a uh, I wouldn't want a streamer that felt that he had to, because I mean, it's it's probably in, in all likelihood it's gonna show in the way he in the way he presents himself. Right. Let me move on down the line. Uh, gray area right here. I hope this is gonna be one of those where uh, you need you need to spend dot dollar top amount of equipment because you get out of it what you put into it. Make sure you're... Make sure you're... Yeah, come on, highlight! Make sure your output looks the best it can. Uh, uh, I'm... Th that big time gray area right there. This will make your audience have a great time check. Thirty VPS. Um, one big thing on that, uh, I find quality-wise, I'll I'll go ahead and throw in my two cents. I did this in one of my other videos too. Yeah, your mid tier is probably the best. It's probably where you want to be. You don't want your quality too crappy, because then you know, oh my eyes, my eyes, and all that. You don't want it too crappy, but then again, you don't want to have you don't want to be streaming at ten thousand pixels either. Because if you're streaming at that high of a quality, in order for me to watch you, I, I mean, my, I too have to, I have to be able to handle, you know, 10,000 pixels. I had to have to be able, my computer would have to be able to handle all that quality. But I'm pretty sure for the vast majority of us, we don't have those kind of computers. So you're cutting off a lot of your audience if you got that, if you got the super high end stuff. Um, so I would probably say, uh. 
Somewhere in the middle is where you want to be. And you don't, again, you don't want super crappy quality, but then again, you don't want a super massive high quality either, because, uh, I, you know, I shouldn't be forced to, I shouldn't be forced to get a PC that's powerful enough to match yours. And in fact, uh, now that I think about it, uh, what are the old, what are the old computers I used to have that I bought from, uh, Office Max and before then bought one from Walmart. It had a, it had an integrated graphics card, meaning uh anything above seven it was anything above seven hundred and twenty pixels started using up a lot of my CPU. If it was a uh, ten eighty, uh, my it would max out my CPU, so I couldn't watch you like at all. So I got some experience when I say you want the overall quality to be in the middle somewhere. Not too good, not too bad. Um, I definitely agree with this. Uh, this is also another turn off for me when watching other streamers. It's also one of the reasons why I hardly network. It because a lot of the a lot of the upper streamers they just got tip jars, they got ticker tape going on. Billy Bob Jones donated fifty bucks, you know, that kind of thing. Um, some of them, uh, I know in Final Fantasy XIV, some of them have, like, little pictures of, like, little anime cartoons going on down here. I mean, if, if I was on one of my older computers, there's no way in hell I'd be able to watch you. Just that alone would, uh, start draining, start, would start using up a lot of my CPU. I'm tongue-tied right now. I'm sure it's not too distracting or whatever the main going Trying to block things like the mini map. Yep. In fact, uh, in Final Fantasy XIV, um, my whole entire HUD layout is centered around avoiding my webcam, which you usually have in the upper left corner. So all, all of my windows, or most, most of them, but not all of them, are trying to avoid the uh, webcam. Try to have your camera pay. And this is another important one too. Uh, always have a webcam. Um, that's another, another little turn off of mine. If I, I'd like to be able to have a face to the voice. But if it's if it's just a disembodied voice that I'm hearing, it's just kind of awkward. So that, that's definitely a requirement right there. From the yeah, the back of, back of the head. I mean, come on. I'm a fugly guy, but even I got the webcam facing me. Not much reason. I mean, not much reason to do this. From the side, I never really notice. I mean, I guess from the side is okay. Like if it's. If it's the best location you can come up with, like here or here or something. But yeah. Whereas uh my webcam is on top of my TV. It's a thirty-two inch. Consistent, reliable. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of agree with this too, or at least um, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll kind of I'll kind of make I can kind of mix these up here. I'm one of those that uh, give it a choice. I would rather you be on at the same time every time, all the time, or excuse me, most of the time, as far as uh, how long you stream. I'm not too I'm not too picky about that. In fact, um, I kind of a it's kind of a turn off, but it's, I imagine it's probably an unpopular opinion. Um, if you're a I mean if you're if you're trying to stream for 24 hours, I'm probably gonna have a harder time getting into you, especially as the as the stream period goes on and on. 
even longer you've been streaming, you start getting bored, you, you start losing interest, you start getting exhausted. Probably not gonna be totally fucking like everything. Probably wanna go back to sleep, you know. And, you know, it'd be kinda hard. I mean, it'd be kinda hard for me to get into you when you're doing that. <sighs> kind of a nebulous term, but uh, I kinda said the same thing too. I would, I would rather you be fully wide awake and ready to go and fully functional and only stream an hour than to be streaming for 12 hours straight and then as the hours drag on you're dragging on and then I uh, just not you know in that case you know just just stop you know 24 hour streams don't impress me I mean because even then I'd I'd probably be watching for maybe like an hour or so and you know, even I start getting, you know, you start getting groggy and, oh, I got a thing, man. I got to go see you later, you know. I guess I could probably go into detail. <laughs> I just saw this and this, and I just saw that kind of go hand in hand, so just commented on that. <sighs> Something that works for you and doesn't interfere too much with everyday life, which I worked a night shift. A five day, 40 hour a week night shift. So <clears throat> during the work day, during my work days, I'm on maybe one or two hours or two hours at the most if I can get up early, which is, doesn't happen often. This will give you a chance to set time streaming, but general idea I wanted to expect you on a regular basis. Um, I said that earlier. Um, I would rather you be consistent and have a short stream than to be uh, random and having like 12 hour streams. Uh, more on this later. Uh, doesn't get really, again, I said it before, I would rather have a, I'd rather have a streamer on consistently, but only be on for like an hour or two, than, than for a streamer to be on at just random times, but you know, while still, yet still stream 12 hours, a, you know, 12 hours a day. And I've, to be fair, I've, uh, I've been here too. Like when I'm starting to wind down my stream, you know, I'm about to shut down for the day, and all of a sudden, poof, somebody shows up. Hi, Joe. I'm like, oh, hi, hi, uh, bye. <laughs> Click. You know, so I've been there. Okay, so he's, okay, so we have, uh, he's one of the few that I can think of that actually says, stream for at the very least an hour usually mo usually other people say oh my god the bare ass minimum is two hours man i mean that's a bare minimum and you should only do that when you're totally completely desperate you know that kind of thing at least he's saying this so okay i already liked him so at least he's a little more understanding about that Engage people who interact with you. Um, this is a, this is especially true if you're a super small streamer like I am, and I'm sure a lot of other people like that too. Um, <clears throat> there's an analogy. There's an analogy up here somewhere. I'm trying to find it right now, but basically, consider yourself lucky that they're coming to see your channel. Because they've got a metric ton of options. I mean, hey, even those uh, even those top streamers at the top of the screen have those beautiful layouts, uh, the, the super beautiful quality. And, and hey, man, if you make a $10 donation, you can be entered into a drawing to win a headset. Oh, yeah, man, awesome. I mean, they could easily go gone to one of those other streamers if they wanted to. But, I mean, they, they took the time, you know, they instead... 
they actually took a risk and uh, chose you instead. So yeah, you want to engage with those people. You don't just get pissy with them or you don't you don't neglect them and just let them leave. I mean, I guess the analogy I was looking for was the Walmart analogy. I mean, hey, consider yourself lucky that uh, if you say you you want a small ma pa grocery store, consider yourself lucky that uh, they're shopping in yours and not Walmart over here. That's probably uh, that's uh, undercutting it, kind of that's under that that has cheaper prices than you. There, I was trying to find some variation of the word undercut. wasn't really working, but. I mean, I'm sure Walmart has probably cheaper prices than the uh, Ma and Pa store up the street. Consider yourself lucky that they're sh lucky that they're shopping at your store. Kind of the same thing here. If you're friendly and personal, the folks who come to stream welcome. Remember, viewers who return, treat them with respect. Instead of taking time, taking some time to check out your channel when they had when they had much greater when they had much greater options than yours than you. It's quite a bit of bad time to do commentary on this. I mean, I'm, I'm ad-libbing this, but man, I'm, I'm having trouble getting the words. Uh, watch other streamers. This is a very, very gray area right here. Before I started streaming, this is what I used to do. But, um, I'm, it might just be me, but uh, I spend more time uh, leaving, leaving streamers than I do actually watching them. Uh, what I do now, what I was doing... I'm doing now what I did them did then is uh, scrolling straight to the bottom of the screen. I don't even mess with those top streamers. They're, I don't matter. One, I don't matter as much. And two, sometimes it, all the chatting going on and sometimes all, all the uh, extra overlays they have on their on their screen and whatnot gets pretty distracting and annoying. So I tend to avoid them. Um, on the other hand, though. And on the other hand, though, I you, I would want to say you should set a schedule, like the official official networking day or something like that, or set aside a certain block of time in your life to watch other streamers, if only just to take notes, see how they do it, maybe find some things that they do that you think might be useful in your stream. But again, that's uh, that's only if you have um, if you. If you have a higher tolerance for this than I do, like I said, I used to watch a lot of streamers before I started streaming myself, and uh, it just got to where I spent more time skipping them than actually watching them, because they always do something or another that just really puts me off. So, yeah, so net networking is a tough call. Um, I guess if you can do it, if you can... Um, if you could handle a lot more of the things that streamers do than I could, then yeah, go for it. Like I said, I don't, I'm not, I'm not super picky, but they're not, 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 not in the overall grand scheme of things, but streamers do a lot of things that just really turn, really turn me off. So, if you're not spending time building connections, watching the streamers, then you uh, I guess there's also a kid pro quo factor in there too. Like if you're um, if you're taking if you're taking the time to help to check out his stream, this is especially true for smaller streamers who don't get many view don't get many visitors. I and mean, I'm sure they probably appreciate I'm sure they probably appreciate you visiting them, you know, dropping in, saying hello and whatnot. So. See what they're playing. Talk to them. Ah, uh, yeah, that's um. Uh, there's something in there. I'm still trying to find it. Um, iffy on this one. This is um. This is one of those. One of the biggest reasons that uh, I leave other people's streams is uh, a lot of them use a uh, Discord. Or if I hear a, uh, if I hear two or more people talking, then I I leave immediately. Main reason: too many bad experiences with that. Uh, from my end, 
uh, when I tried doing this, it's very difficult for me to be in two places at once. Like, back when I played Diablo 3, me and a couple friends of mine, we'd be running uh, greater rifts. But at the same time, I'd have somebody in my chat box trying to talk to me too. It's very distracting trying to talk to the people here and people there. So eventually the guy in the chat box just probably got frustrated with me and left. So, whereas uh, my experiences with that, I I get when I, whenever I sit there and try to talk to somebody who's trying to talk to another person, more often than not, I get ignored. You know, just blown off. Um, I think I remember one instance where the girl, the girl and a guy was sitting there just chatterboxing away. I typed something down. It, she just looks at him. Oh yeah, definitely, Joe, definitely. But anyway, blah 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 blah. He just goes off on a conversation. Goes back to our conversation. I go, oh, pff, thanks, girl. I, I'm out of here. So, so again, this is probably it's more personal opinion than anything. So I mean, if, you, if this works for you, go for it. Whereas uh, I don't want to do to somebody else what's been done to me. So if <clears throat> Discord's out of the question, so I don't... Well, well first off, um, we'd have... I guess uh, aside from the fact that uh, we'd have to be actually be on the same exact server in order to do this. There's no cross-server or anything on Final Fantasy fourteen. Make sure it's natural and don't ever force this, this too. Don't go on there for the sole purpose of... Uh, promoting your own channel. Very disrespectful. Um, kind of gray area on this. I know back when I back when I played uh, Diablo 3 on a PS4 it, actually, it would actually tell you the uh, amount of viewers you had viewing your channel. The moment I would see a viewer show up, I'll be like, hey, welcome to the stream, bud. Seconds later, poof, that number will become zero. Some people want to lurk. They don't want to talk. So, um, basically, I don't talk to them unless they talk to you first. Because like I said, you might be a lurker. Just wants to watch. Have a message again. I do remember me talking about this in one of my other videos. Um, it's There's a word I'm looking for, but basically, events and engagement, I mean, it, on one end, if nobody ever comes to your stream, events and engagements is a total waste of time because there's, no there there's no one there to partake in it. It's a waste of effort. But on the other hand, in, if you don't, apparently, if you don't do this, nobody shows up. So you hit circular logic is that the word I'm looking for I don't know might have to think on that one a little bit give your returning users a reason but I don't something like this here it, it shouldn't it shouldn't be forced on them probably the best statement I can give on that I think there's there's a lot more I got a lot more up here about on that but I can't seem to access it <clears throat> basically whether or not they come back is up to them not up to you I mean that's their decision not yours Again, you probably want to tread carefully on that. Like I said, I've had a, I've had a viewers up and leave me the moment I greet them. So, some some of them want to lurk. I have a sub or even a follower wall or list. I guess if um if you had a whole metric ton of them, ton of followers, I could probably see that. But if you're like me, you know, very rarely getting any well any viewers at all it, it is it really worth the effort plus um, I think it could also be a good shoot as a being egot egotistical too you know hey look at all these followers I have that you don't <laughs> you know that kind of thing so this I agree with 
But again, again, like I said before, they might they might just want to lurk, so you might want to be careful about that. Basically, if they talk to you, you talk to them. Don't blow them off. Don't just, you know, don't blow them off. Um, don't be rude. But admittedly, if you're, it also depends on the game, too. So, I mean, if you're, like, doing a first-person shooter and you get blown away, like, ten times, all of them headshots or something, then I, I, I can understand you being a little pissed off about it. But, you know, just... You know, don't be insulting. You have one viewer. Um, in fact, I I would probably have my best conversations, have my best up. Uh, I'm probably the. I mean, the best com. I can. I can be a better conversationalist. <laughs> Definitely not being one right now. I could be a better conversationalist the fewer people that are in the stream. It probably sounds obvious, but like I said, way up there, uh, big streamers are also, big streamers are avoided by me for, for this reason. And it's like shopping at Walmart. You're treated like a customer. I mean, those big time streamers have so many viewers going through its doors. It's in pretty much going to be impossible for them to just remember every single person and have a good intimate one-on-one -on -one conversation with that one person, especially with the chat. The chat blowing up like it is. You type something down, and up it goes. You know, it's like you got to give a short, non-committal answers to everybody. And then your channel is at ninety percent quiet. Another one of my many turnoffs. This is especially true when if I see a streamer. If I see a streamer like this has the microphone up and everything, but isn't isn't saying anything, um, sometimes even despite the fact that I actually am trying to interact with the guy, but still isn't talking. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm gone. I mean, hell, even even then, even then, you don't have to just. Okay, that's, okay, I see a, I see a link here. Talk it out. That's what I'm, that's what I was looking for. Talk it out. I mean, you know, don't, <clears throat> don't just be a uh, ninety percent or ninety plus percent quiet. You know, talk out your issues. Talk out your decision making. Talk out your thought processes. Just talk it out. <clears throat> Iffy. Yeah, kind of iffy on that one. Try to have a conversation. Uh, I could probably kind of agree with this. There's probably um, I uh, one of my probably one of my niggling, one of my little little quirks is I do literally talk to myself. So that might be uh, off-putting to any potential viewers. And yet, done it since I was a kid. So, so yet, it's gonna be kind of hard for me to just stop just like that. But basically, the what it boils down to is speak up. Don't be silent. Um, you don't need to go too far out of your way. I agree with that. Uh, just Twitter would work. Uh, Twitter, and if you're on, on Twitch, if you know how to do it, and I've learned how to do this recently, make little clips of your streams. Because uh, what I, I post all my stream videos on the Final Fantasy Lodestone block, but few people want to sit there and few people want to sit there and watch, you know, one plus hour stream video. You know that. I ain't gonna sit through that, but you know, maybe if you made little, little, you know, one minute or less clips, they might be more inclined to watch those. Um, I started doing that recently on mine, and I mean, no, grant, I mean, granted, I don't, I still don't have a hundred people watching my clips or anything like that, but you know, I, I get more people watching my clips than they do watch my uh, stream videos. So, <clears throat> same thing there. A little clip can go a long way. 
interact with other streamers. Interact with other streamers. Um, yeah, keep the expectations down. I know I sure do. Connect to different social media outlets, build connection, make sure your own social media is present and available for others. I do that too. I uh, post on a Final Fantasy blog. Spend a lot of time to make work lot connections. I kind of said this too earlier. Uh, if you're able to pull it off, dedicate some portion of your life, or some portion of your daily life, excuse me, to watching other streamers. Pay attention to what you're doing. You should be the same for them. Don't give up following. Okay, then I'll just keep going right on down the line and comment. Okay, yeah, I agree with this too. Um, the the PS4 stream format is abhorrent. Like a whole, a whole thirty year chat your screen is taken up by a chat box. So <clears throat> I can definitely endorse that. Um, it doesn't have to be a, it doesn't have to be a second monitor. And I know I, I mean I stream out here in the living room. I mean I, my uh, inner little entertainment center thing is just barely hold my TV and my computer. So I mean I sure as hell couldn't be able to fit another second monitor on here. But what I do use, I do use a little tablet though, for my uh, my chat for my uh, Twitch chat. So it, it's all. Uh, I wouldn't say this is carved in stone here, two monitors, but at least try to find a way to try to find a way to watch your chat that doesn't involve doing it on a PS4 or on the uh, Twitch screen itself. But yep, I've had that happen too, and um, if you're able to swing it. Have a tap, have a tablet, or like what I do, have a tablet for my Twitch chat room, but also uh, pop out the chat box on the Twitch website itself, because uh, the app on the tablet has a habit of malfunctioning and won't display any chat at all, meaning I have to restart it. At least having a sec a second option can you know let you know when when the app isn't working. It's good as a backup. Yep, remember reading something like that, and um, it was also like I said, way back up there. If I was on one of my older, if I was on one of, damn it, if I was on one of my older computers, and if you were streaming this, there was no way in hell I'd be able to watch you. It would max out my CPU. <clears throat> so also like I said earlier, quality-wise, your best bet is right in the middle. You don't want it too bad, but you don't want it too good either. Sounds like he's calling him out. Could have been just, could have been a copy polish. This could have been a copy polish and paste from a, a ton of other, uh, other topics similar to this one too. I agree with this one too. Definitely getting a like from me. It's like I said, you. You'll cut out a lot. Of, you'll cut out a good chunk of your audience if you have the, if you have the high-end quality. Like I said earlier, um, if I was on one of my older computers, I wouldn't be able to watch you. I would jam on my computer like molasses. So nine years old. Uh, you might be at the uh, at the lower end of the spectrum. I wouldn't be able to watch you either. It'd be too much of an eyesore. Nine years old. I'm thinking uh streaming on uh, three sixty pixels uh, or lower. Um I'm not gonna do it here. 
because it's going to throw my whole format off, but uh, later on I'll check this out. Uh, I guess that could work. I'm not a... I'm not a... I'm not a witty titler. I just, I'm more descriptive. You know, finishing up, you know, finishing up storyline quests and mining like a madman. You know, just keep it simple and descriptive. Okay, now with this I kind of agree with too. Rocket League string. I mean, yeah, I, even I'd find that boring. But trying to be uh, silly and witty. It doesn't really affect me one way or the other. If anything, it could be compensating. Like the fact that maybe you're streaming at 360 pixels and no webcam and you got three or four people in, in Discord chatting away. I don't know which one of you is actually the streamer, etc. You know, so <clears throat> having an awesome title might just be compensating. I'd like to add. Watch your own stream. Bingo. I can endorse that too. See what you're doing wrong. See what you're doing right. Uh, you know, see, yep. It's just like studying film and football. You gotta look for the quirks and weaknesses and whatnot. Um, again, I mean, I'd click you if, um, title doesn't really affect me much. I mean, the only thing I'm, probably one of the big things I'm looking at is whether or not you have a webcam. So that, that's probably the big thing I'm looking at. Is my stream visually pleasing? Um, again, I'm not a picky person. I, I, I mean, I have a, I have an entry level gaming computer now, so I actually can watch 1080 streams, you know, 60 frames per second. I can watch them now without, without overloading my CPU. But, but again, it, as long as you're not, I mean, as long as your quality isn't bad, like 360 or less, then I, you're good. Oh, 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 I've been here. I have been here. I've had, I've also had a shit can in some of my, uh, stream videos because of this. My, uh, microphone has a habit. In fact, I'll check it right now. It still works. My mic has a habit of just cutting off at random times. <clears throat> uh, audio level's okay. This is also something else that makes me leave other people's streams. No audio, like none whatsoever. I'll even type down in chat, hey, uh, your mic is turned off, or hey, there is no, you have no sound, and I still get no response. Pew, I'm gone. So that's, that's another thorn on my side. Um, I can kind of agree with this one too. Again, this is also this is also one of the reasons why you should watch your own stream so you can pick up stuff like this, so you can catch stuff like this. Uh, stream quality, frame drops, and overall consistency. I guess if you can do it in real time, I go for it. It can help, but. Whereas with me, I have to, I have to hover the mouse over the uh, OBS, uh, the OBS icon, just to see how, how it looks, see how I'm doing so far. I mean, sometimes it'll go from green to orange to red and back to green and stuff like that, but not often. But uh, if you see, uh, if you see your stream in the red like constantly, you probably have a major connection issue. You just, just you know, cut it off. 
Um, I do this. I'm probably going to do most of my talking at the very start of a stream. But that is also because uh, when I um, when I stream Final Fantasy XIV, I play Vital Records, which uh, can be uh, muted by a muted by Twitch due to copyright. So I want to make sure to get I have to make sure to get everything I want to say at the start of the stream, and get it all taken care of and out of the way before I start putting the records on. Because I don't want to have to have I don't want to have to have a big conversation while it's being muted because. One of my songs is copyrighted. So I want to make sure to get everything taken care of at the start before I start playing the records. So definitely agree with that. Any habits that hurt the stream? Um, I guess I'll, I'll let everybody in on a little secret. For those of you that saw my very first streams, you'll know this. You'll know this. You, this will be familiar to you. I got a nasty habit of doing this. Sometimes it's a lot of work to try to keep this in check, but I've been doing this ever since I was a baby. It's very hard to get rid of, and it, I'm pretty sure it probably scares the crap out of people. Ah, he's not so anything. Off they go. So I really have to keep that in check. It's not something I can just stop doing for the rest of my life. I mean, I'm going to have it. I've had it since I was a kid, so. So that, this is one of the, this is one of the things that you learn from watching your own stream. If you didn't do this, you're never going to know why people are suddenly leaving moments after coming on, so. I wish you could like this sucker more than once. I've done this before too. I tend to mumble. How you handle peers as you um You're streaming. It should be um it should be as much for you as it should be for your audience. Like, the reason why I do this. I mean, it, I do it just, you know, I hardly talk at work. I don't really talk to my family much, except maybe visit my mom every one or two weeks. You know, so it's nice to be able to come into a stream and just let it out. But I basically handle that by just talking it out. If they like me enough, they'll, they'll talk back. Ah, uh, you welcome, new viewer. I don't. Again, I don't talk to them unless they talk to me first. Like I said, I don't. I don't know who the lurkers are. And on my on my tablet, it doesn't tell me how many viewers I have, which is a good thing. So, I'd rather learn on the acoustic than on the electric. How do I? How do I rip? <laughs> you know, I never expect it. So it's always a total surprise when someone follows me. How you interact with one. How you interact with one viewer. My comfort zone is actually uh, between probably one to three. That's those I can easily manage them, easily have conversations between those. When you start getting in 10 plus viewers, that's when I start going. That's a whole lot of eyes on you, and plus, <clears throat> I have to be in 10 places at once, or 10 plus places at once, which makes it very difficult for me, especially when I'm trying to play a game too at the same time. can't do it and um and uh, watching other big watching other big time streamers back when I actually was they seen they had a hard time doing it too <clears throat> you 
know, or they give you short, non-committal answers. Oh, just look on the wiki, or I don't know, man, but you might want to, you might want to Google that because I don't have a clue. You know, just good old, good old Walmart door greeter answers. All right, welcome to Walmart. You know, hardly any interaction. Um, yep, I think that is important too. Um. It should, it should be, you should uh, find a happy medium there. You shouldn't just, okay, guys, I'm done. I gotta go buy click. You know, I say, um, some people, hey, man, if you like this stream, leave a follow or a like. You know, it's right down there below the, you know, below the screen. You know, that kind of thing. But, so I, I guess, uh, I guess how you want to do that is up to you. Whereas, uh, I kind of, recently, I started doing kind of a, kind of a Jerry Springer moral of the story type thing. Uh, letting people know what I plan on doing next, or what I plan on doing in my next streams. I, I tend to be a plan-oriented person, so. Yeah. So much, yep. This is the big one here. Be critical of yourself. Remember, you're, this is especially true when you're a small streamer. I mean, if you're a big time streamer, you probably already have 100,000 followers. You ain't gonna, I mean, if somebody doesn't like your stream and leaves, you know, too bad, so sad. I mean, they ain't gonna give two shits about it because they already have 99,999 followers. I mean, they can afford to be rude at some points. I mean, not not too often, because it would reflect pretty bad on them. Because you're being rude in front of 100,000 100, people. So, you, you get the idea. Old Ronan. Instant like right there. That self amusement. Talk about the game you're playing and the goals you have. Get in the habit of talking, talking to yourself through things. Uh, and now we're getting into the other end of the spectrum. This is also another thing that causes me to leave other people's streams. This is the flip side to uh, this is the flip side to silence. I've I've had a uh, I've had streamers just nonstop. Oh, you're like man, will you shut up, man? I'm I'm just here to watch you play a game, dude. God it really kills the immersion, you know. Just you know that means, but yeah, like I said, that's the other end of the spectrum. Uh, you want to be talking, but don't, don't blab. Don't talk with a purpose. I guess would be what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, which is which is something I do too. Is, uh, if you are just lurking, you might as well do something else. Um, <laughs> Love the name. Just the name alone. I try. Um, I've done this from time to time, and more often than not, I end up leaving as quickly as I came in. You do spend time talking to them. Yep. <clears throat> yep. It's um. I don't mind lurkers. I mean, I'm, I mean, I. I do that from time to time myself, but 
But again, I, I actually do like it when our people, you know, come in and actually chat it up with me. You know, like I said, one of the reasons why I stream is uh, because I hardly outside of it, I hardly talk. So. expect anything from other streamers you watch I definitely agree with that shut up and take my like uh, but like I said before I started streaming I was out watching other streamers like crazy and but more often than not I would leave almost as quickly as I came in they always did something that drove me nuts Um, absolutely not. Or, I definitely agree with that. You never want to... You should be there for... You should be there for the streamer, not for yourself. Consuming Twitch? Uh, that's a word I have not heard in a long time. And I guess that's it. And yeah, that's it. And looks like looks like a look to be a pretty good poll. Look to be a pretty good thread. That's the word I was looking for when I first started this thing. And look, yeah, it was a pretty good thread. Uh, in fact, I'm a half, I'm about a half an hour late getting into it. A little late for my shower, and probably not going to get as much sleep. I do plan on uh, streaming Final Fantasy 14 tonight too. So. I'll just go ahead and cut it off here, and if you made it this far, thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, take care.